So let's just try to work it down a, down a wider side. And this is cute. Everyone and anyone who was in any way involved in my husband's passing, a heartfelt thank you. And that was obituary page announcement in the Watertown New York Times, thanks to Sheila Williams. That was, I guess you can take it for whatever it is. Um, here is, oh, Pentagon. Oh, love that Defense Department lingo. It says official Pentagon words and what they really mean. Interlocking slide fastener. <laughs> Interlocking slide fastener. That was their translation for zipper. And portable handheld communications transcriber. A pencil. Portable. That's, that's why this is like secret code over there, I guess. So, and these are dumb and dumber things. Well, we get a lot of dumb and dumber things without even having to look in this. So this one, education, adult education prize, the dumbest things you ever said or done, the says, when I was a boy of 14, my father was so ignorant, I could hardly stand to have the old man around. The 19th century lecturer, Josh Billings, admitted. But when I got to be 21, I was astonished how, at how much... The old man had learned in seven years. Mm. Wow. I know. I got so impressed with my dad. I wrote a book about him. <laughs> ah. but I waited till after I was 21. And it seemed like a good idea at the time. Even though he was married, or perhaps because of it, Playwright George Bernard Shaw held a rather dismal view of romance. I don't agree with that, but said, love, he said, is a gross exaggeration of the difference between one person and everybody else. I don't know. He was a great philosopher. We even included him on page 401 on the book about, my dad agreed with George Bernard Shaw about when he goes out, it's going to be with a light shining and leaving it for future generations. Well, this had a little different twist. Even though he was married, perhaps because of it, playwright George Bernard Shaw held a rather dismal view of romance. Love, he said, is a gross, is a gross exaggeration of the difference between one person and everybody else. I would like to add uh, something. I think love you can never exaggerate because the most important thing we got. It's the most important thing to give. And that's what Bill Sethkart just said. And it's on tape. So, please, take care of yourself and those around you. We're all that we got. So, I hope to be back here in a few weeks, maybe with my crew, because I miss them. I don't know if they miss me, but they say they, they're doing social distancing. <laughs> That's their way of saying, sayonara. <laughs> no, we'll, get, we'll try to get together. But I'm going to do this song, Peace Train. Peace Train, take this country. Take me home again. So please be well in your homes and wherever you are. We don't want to make things any worse. Get yourself a mask with your picture on it or something, <laughs> with your family's picture. Do something fun and be well. Thank you. My heart's yours. Peace.